this eight years old girl, an isolated uh, injury, and how would you treat it? I'll give you an options and you can vote. So option A is close reduction or a K-wire assisted joystick, a Matizu technique of retrograde nailing, uh, and open reduction. So it's a completely toppled off uh, radial head and uh, So, can we have uh, So, by the time we, wow. <laughs> it's like voting. Okay, so most of us, we think that it will need a K-wire assisted joystick reduction, a lot of us. And you are right that uh, the management of radial neck fractures has been conventionally based on Judea classification, wherein type 1 and type 2 is less than 30 degree angulation and can be conserved because it can get remodeled by itself. When it comes to type 3, where the angulation is between 30 and 60 degrees, a close reduction uh, uh, should be attempted. But when there is type 4, where the angulation was, uh, is more than 60 degree, like the patient which I shown to you before, either a percutaneous or a open reduction has been recommended in literature. Now I'm going to show you today a technique where we could successfully treat it all type 4 with close reduction technique. Now we know that many techniques have been described in literature, uh, right from Peterson maneuvers to Huntley's and Nahar Torch. But all this paper, if, if you read in detail, they have treated uh, type 2s and type 3 with their technique. But none of them uniformly achieved complete reduction when it came to type 4A and 4B. So we started uh, employing this technique, uh, it's actually the combination of what has been described. If we look at this at a glance, the first step is to uh, see the forearm in the profile by moving under image intensifier. Profile means you, can, you should see a rectangle of the radial head on your in image intensifier. That is the first step. That's a position where it was fractured. The second is longitudinal traction and varus force which opens up the lateral, uh, lateral uh, uh, compartment. And then you manually give pressure over the radial head which turns a type 4 to type 3 jude. And the final most important maneuver is you simultaneously flex and pronate forearm with having a constant pressure of thumb over radial head. And you will see the radial head will completely reduce anatomically. And this reduction will be maintained in the uh, maneuver of flexion uh, extension and pronosupination. The biomechanical basis is that, that once we convert type 4 into type 3 and we flex the elbow, we are obliterating the posterior recess and when we supinate, uh, pronate the ligaments like lateral collateral ligament, lateral ulnar collateral ligament and annular ligament, in supination they are relaxed and when you pronate they become tight and these intact ligaments provide ligamentotexis which is the biomechanical basis of this technique. I'll show you uh, in a six years old patient, um, this, has, this video has been published in JBJS Essential Surgical Technique as well. So you have to keep the child uh, on radiolucent table, the child should be on the edge of table and image intensifier should come from the leg side. The first, uh, the step two is to view the radial head in profile. You'll have to move the uh, forearm in pronation or supination. Most of the time it is little more uh, pronation than full supination. And where you see the radial head in profile. Your further maneuver should be done in this position because this is a pre-injury position of the child. And once you see this, you will see a rectangular uh, part of radial head as you can see in this boy. The next step is to give longitudinal traction. And then once you give longitude traction for, uh, for 30 to 40 seconds, you start giving, this will disimpact the fracture. And then the next step is to give uh, virus force. The assistant can push the elbow from the medial side and the surgeon 
pulse in our medial side, which will open up the lateral uh, compartment and will give the space for lateral, uh, the radial head to go in. Now the next most important step is to locate the radial head and put your thumb over it both on AP and lateral plane. Sometimes we see on AP plane but on laterally we are either anterior or posterior so try to locate it well. And once you do this, now with constant pressure on you do the final flexion pronation maneuver and with this maneuver you will see the radial head is reduced and once you achieve anatomic reduction you can check the stability of reduction in full range of flexion extension and pronosupination uh, and uh, uh, in the lateral as well as AP view and as this fracture radial head is stable you need not put a K wire or you need not fix it with any implant you just immobilize them in pronation more than little more than mid prone so this is how we check under image intensifier and final step is to apply a plaster in pronation. So if you can see the radiologic correlation the child which I have shown earlier uh, once we uh, did the uh, traction and opening the and uh, thumb pressure the type 4 got converted to type 3 and with the maneuver this got completely reduced and this is one year follow up of the same child with full range of motion. Coming to some more severe, uh, this is Jude type 4B where this is angle, angulation is more than 80 degrees. Still we can reduce it with this method and you don't need to fix it. The problem occurs when we see radial neck fracture in very young children where uh, the radial head is not ossified. Uh, here I would recommend to take contralateral limb x-ray and make sure that there is a, a fracture and you can do arthrogram so that you can see the piece of radial head this is the big piece and then again you have to employ the same technique visualize in profile and you do your maneuver this child had, was five days old and very chubby child I could not reduce it there was something blocking in front so I use intrafocal pinning and after that I could reduce it and maintain this uh, reduction in uh, uh, pronation so we did not put any uh, wire now uh, this papers have been published and this technique has also been published you can go through uh, for details where this technique would not work and uh, the, there are Jeffrey type injuries where the radial neck fractures are associated with elbow dislocation where ligaments are disrupted and I have found that uh, uh, this type of injuries uh, my technique uh, did not work for this for instance this 10 year old girl we tried to reduce it the moment I extended the elbow the elbow was dislocating and you can see that with extension the elbow was dislocating so we could not uh, uh, reduce this although I received messages from different colleagues that even in dislocation we could use your technique and reduce but I resorted to open reduction when you uh, when one fails to achieve close reduction in these fractures there are percutaneous uh, K wire assisted methods K wire can be used as push technique or lever technique and metazoo of retrograde uh, nailing after added close reduction this can be used for instance this uh, type 4B Jude uh, this case I did before 10 years one can pass a K wire and gradually introduce uh, into the fracture site, advance it, lever it and once it is completely reduced you fix the opposite cortex with the same wire and you confirm it in lateral view and this is how you can do it. One has to be careful about posterior interosseous nerve which can go anteriorly and you do not uh, should not injure it with uh, your wire. So intrafocal pinning can always be done if you fail to uh, achieve close reduction. Matizu technique is one where with the help of a uh, 45 degree bent tip of the 10 nail or a K wire partly reduced ulnar uh, uh, radial head is rotated and, and brought to its uh, normal position and the reduction is maintained with the wire and people have shown that advantage that you can mobilize them early but in the series of patients which I have treated with close reduction all the patients have full range of motion at one year so I don't see that advantage to be considered if it is an isolated fracture. Open reduction uh, is always not uh, very good the long term outcome of open reduction has been associated with significant complication and so we try to avoid it 
In conclusion, close reduction by described method is possible in isolated radial neck fractures of all the severity. The fractures which are not reducible because they have presented late or, it, or they are associated with elbow dislocations would warrant either an implant assisted reduction or open reduction. Thank you very much.